Fear not, I say, fear not. The sounds which come from this place should not frighten you. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and people, and friends? I am the professor, Julia Sumner Miller, and we do physics. And in this adventure, a new dilemma. Consider the following for you to contemplate. You see my business here, not only to entertain you and amuse you and excite your enthusiasm and curiosity and spirit, but also to raise some questions which are good to think about. Just as in Pascal we had three vases, so with Julius Sumner Miller you have three cans. Three identical cans. Can so? Can so? Can so? And let them be identical. Somebody says, oh, Professor, you didn't make this one quite fat enough. All right. Three identical. You can have them from some fruit juice or from something. Cans. Now, here's what we wish to do with them. We are going to leave this can shiny. That is, if there is paper on it, we take it off. Here is a shiny tin can. This one we paint black. So we paint it black. Now the problem is already troublesome because I have not said is it dull black or shiny black, but I don't want to get too technical. It's just black. The physicists who may be watching us on this program will say, well, he didn't make clear which it is, and that's a great difference. And it is. Now the third can has a very thin layer, a very thin layer of asbestos, which you know is a good thermal insulator. A thin layer of asbestos. Now what are we going to do? We are going to put identical amounts of hot water in these cans. Hot water, hot water, hot water. How hot? Oh, say 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about the temperature of the water you take a bath in. Now you can put covers on them if you wish. I have cork stoppers in them, in the cans. And then you can put thermometers thermometers, thermometers, so this stick you will recognize as a thermometer, and this stick is a thermometer, and this stick is a thermometer. So they are all equipped with thermometers. And of course at the beginning of the adventure the thermometers read the same temperature. Same temperature. Now the temperature of the liquid, the water, is higher than the room temperature, and you know what we say, things cool off. Cool off. The, thermal equi the, the stuff comes to thermal equilibrium with the environs. Question. Question. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho. This is a question. Which can cools the fastest? Which can cools the fastest? Some say the shiny. Some say the black, because black is a good thermal radiator. How many say the shiny? Oh, 17 million out there say the shiny. How many say the black? 29 million say the black. And uh, do you want to know from me which one cools the fastest? This is where the paradox lies. This is where the dilemma lies. This one, which is insulated, notice, insulation. I pronounce that insulation to distinguish it from insolation, a point I made once before on a program, insolation, incoming solar radiation. That one cools the fastest. And who would think it? Who'd believe it? And that's where the dilemma and paradox arises. And I shall have to say more about this on the next program, because this is a very mysterious thing, and mysterious things arise in this place. I thank you for watching.